We've got flight, flight club. The first rule of flight club is what? You do not, no, you can talk about it, right? Okay. First, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Christina. I'm in charge of marketing for Flight Club, and this is Ajay. He is the innovation officer. If you um, check out us on Twitter, that is our. Sure. Sorry, this is my first time presenting with the microphone. Um, it might go to my head, so just watch out for that. So there's our Twitter information. Pretty much everybody loves to travel, right? At least like once we actually get to our destination. Um, but the airlines can be kind of a hassle. So you have inevitable delays, long lines, and just the boredom of having to wait. Sometimes the airplane itself can be a bit of a hassle. So Flight Club is specifically designed. <laughs> Sorry, I went too fast. Flight Club is specifically designed to make air travel more ex the experience more enjoyable. And it's the first ever mobile app. It's going to bring together passengers within a flight. It's available on iOS and Android right now. It's going to allow you to network with other business professionals. You can meet people from all over the world and pass time at the airport by meeting new people and um, exciting new friends. We're going to have a proximity feature very soon. So if you do have a flight delay, you can see who else is delayed and then maybe meet with them at the uh, bar or something like that. <laughs> so during the flight, or before the flight, I'm sorry. So you can type in your flight information and su see who you are traveling with in advance. If you want to trade seats or make other arrangements, you're going to have that option. And you can also exchange information about your destination. So they might know where to get the best cup of gumbo in New Orleans. So you always want to ask those people what they know. And then during the flight, you can connect with passengers on board, pitch ideas, have a meeting at 30,000 feet, whatever um, you want to do, or just pass the time. And then after the flight, we have an option where you can share photos, stay in touch. We all know in business, uh, networking is one of the most important things to do. There are three ways to log in. You can use your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook profile, or your personal email. So you're going to get to ch choose how much you want to share with the public. This is our updated version here, and it just shows you what you're going to see when you go to enter your flight information. At Flight Club, we respect your privacy, so you do have that option to choose how much you want to share. If somebody contacts you and you don't want to speak with them, you can anon anonymously decline. So there's not going to be that awkward moment. There are some definite benefits to airlines, and that is data sharing, um, immediate contact with the customers, and they can also integrate their own apps into our app. Hopefully this is going to lead to reduced customer complaints. And there's benefits to travelers. Reduce that boredom, make business, personal, and family connections, and give the airlines instant feedback back on your accommodations. This is going to help you manage those flight delays and exchange information, share a cab, and maybe even compare your itineraries. You can make business connections while you're in the air and add to your network. And if you're traveling by yourself, Flight Club is ideal because you can find people to have dinner with or meet along the way. And family travel can be a lot more fun. It's always great if you're headed to Disney World, maybe meet another family and schedule some play dates. We all know entertained children are happy children. These are the features that we have, but we have a few new things coming as well. We're going to um, add cab sharing features, seat trading features, and we are working with some collaborations with hotel sharing apps. Of course, they do background checks, that kind of thing, so um, it's not as scary as it sounds. And that is our Twitter, if you'd like to hashtag anything from this presentation. Thank you. I'm going to pass it off to AJ for the questions. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, question over here. Um, do you, does your app use internet, or does it use like a mesh network that doesn't require internet to connect to each other like on the flight? Um, so yeah, there are two options. 
one, uh, uh, you know, nowadays most of the flights, if not all, uh, they do have internet connection, so you can use that. But uh, it also has the Bluetooth option, so if you're within that 50 yards, 50 feet, I'm sorry, 50 feet space, you can use Bluetooth to activate the app itself. <clears throat> so when you're, when did you start this effort? When? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the idea was about, I would say about six, eight months, and we launched about two and a half months ago. So it's uh, available both on iOS and Android. So what was the process when you first had the idea of actually validating market fit and demand? Well, it's, uh, it kind of started more as a personal experience, you know, me traveling and, you know, just sitting in the flight, and, you know, I was on a flight for about 18 hours straight flight. Um, I tried to watch videos, I tried to sleep, I tried to read something, but in the end of the day, that's, that was not sufficient. But more importantly, as a business person, I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity to network with, uh, you know, possible uh, business professionals uh, on the flight itself. So you, you kind of, the idea is to convert that into an opportunity and convert that into a networking option. No, I, I mean, I understand maybe what the driver was, but the question is how do you know how did you prove out that there was actually demand for this type of service and that it's something a user is willing to pay for and that you can actually make a profit at? So, uh, again, you know, we have, we have some test markets. Again, you know, my personal experience um, on, on, on a different sort, on my different business, I have a consulting business where I interact with a lot of salespeople. We are going out to conferences and things as such. So that's where we saw this potential. And if you see, you know, the focus is more towards business travelers. Um, you know, end of the day, if I'm a salesperson, um, you always want to make use of the time and convert that into an opportunity. Yeah, that's so, go ahead. Uh, yeah, TripIt has been gathering this data for a very long time, and it's got all the corporate users. So what's your contingency against it enables social at one point of time? Well, you know, to your point, TripIt has been gathering the data, but it's not out in the market yet. They don't have that social connectivity option. You know, you go in, you provide your information. As a matter of fact, even LinkedIn tried that for some time, but it, it really did not fly off directly as a LinkedIn product. So that's where we saw there's an opportunity. TripIt is gathering all that information, but as I mentioned to you, uh, there's no app out there as of now which does actual opportunity for you to look at all the profiles, all the people you know who are on that app, who are on the same flight, and be able to connect. Tripit is more of a backend. Yes, you go onto the website, you provide your feedback, uh, you kind of you know put in which hotel you stayed, or you know. Well, uh, one of the options which we are looking, and we, di we didn't uh, mention that yet, is we are trying to partner with the airlines itself directly, and then eventually the idea is airlines will be able to market this on their platform also. So I think I said this at One Million Cups as well when, yes. when you presented there, <laughs> um, but I think it's going to be interesting when you, when you shift to being the tender of airlines. You know. <laughs> you know, I was just waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, because there's uh, there's always those advertisements in the airline magazines about matchmaking services for business pro business uh, professionals who are always on on the go. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see if you pivot that way. Uh, well, yeah, quite honestly, again, in our focus, I we really don't want to place this as another you know uh, a dating app or a Tinder kind of app, but it's more for business professionals. And as Christina mentioned. There are other features which you're adding. One is the hotel sharing app. Uh, uh, we are uh, you know, trying to partner. Uh, there's actually a feature where you can swap seats. So if you want an aisle seat or a window seat, there's an option you can do that. Uh, but again, you know, it's more focused. Uh, you know, let's suppose you're going to a conference and you want to be able to meet your right audience. So instead of trying to interact with 5,000 people, why not interact with only 50 people? So yes, yeah, since I presented, I think that was about three or four months ago. So right now it's out there. It's uh, both on Android and iOS. So you know, go ahead and download it. Right now it's for free. You know, please provide your feedback. All right. Thank you, guys.